if you want to extract value out of AI, you need to provide your own data to that AI model. The best way of doing so is through RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. And the way it works is that first you need to convert your own data into numerical representation or embedding. Embedding is a numerical vector representation that captures the semantic meaning and relationships of various data types like text, images, and audio. These embeddings are essential components in any modern AI application. This is why it is extremely important to not only learn about various embedding models, but also the tooling available for various use cases. And in this video, I'm going to cover this embed anything, which is a comprehensive rust based embedding pipeline designed to streamline the process of generating vectors from diverse data sources. We are not only going to install it locally, I will also be showing you a real use case as how you can use it for your own purpose. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Please also follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype and without a fluff. Now getting straight to the point, what exactly is the value or standout feature of this new tool because there are heaps of them and we have covered almost all of them on the channel. Well, the standout value of this tool lies in its exceptional performance and versatility. It can process text, images, audio, PDFs and websites while supporting multiple embedding types including dense, sparse, ONNX and also late interaction embeddings. And I will be explaining the difference between all of these very shortly. Unlike many alternatives, Embed Anything operates without PyTorch dependencies, resulting in a smaller memory footprint and easier deployment. And let's get it installed on my local system where I'm running this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card and VDRTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Now you don't need a GPU or VRAM for this embed anything. You can install it on CPU, but if you're looking to rent a CPU or GPU or VM on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Now I already have created my virtual environment as I have GPU, so I'm just going to install the embed anything with this dash GPU. Otherwise, if you don't have GPU, just install pip install embed anything. And this is going to install everything which is required and takes around a couple of minutes. While that happens, let's talk a bit more around this embed anything. Another cool thing is that the architecture of this uh, tool is quite good. And it has got an innovative feature of vector streaming that approach separates document pre-processing from model inference and that creates a concurrent workflow that significantly reduces latency. The tool's modular architecture allows seamless integration with various vector databases which include uh, VV8, Pinecone, Milverse, Elastic and the list goes on. You can also use local models, you can use cloud-based models. And I'm going to use a local model. I will be download, downloading it from Hugging Face. So let's go back to our terminal and everything is now installed. And now let's test it out to see, you know, what it is all about. Now, this is a code which will show you a basic retrieval augmented generation pipeline with the help of embed anything. So you can see that I'm using Quen3 embedding model, just a 0.6 billion one from Hugging Face. The first time when we use this code, it is going to download it. And then we are using this model to convert a PDF document from my local system. This is the file which have some text in it around my own personal information as uh, who is Fahad Mirza and all that stuff. And I'm going to ask a relevant question. And the question is this, which we are going to use with that um, document. So first we will embed or convert that document into numerical representation. And then we will have this query, which will also be converted into numerical representation. From there, we are going to convert it um, 
sorry we are going to calculate the similarity between the query and all the chunks of the document to find the most relevant information as you can see here and we are going to score it so let me quickly run this it is going to download the model first time and the model is quite lightweight let me also run the vram consumption at the same time the model is quite small just over one gig you see the vram consumption is just under 262 meg that's it so you can easily run it on your uh, cpu and meanwhile it downloaded the model this is the document which talks about you know me and then you can see that it has um, shown all the tokenizer information configuration and then you can see that from the document it has displayed two main results with relevant scores and uh, if you go above this is other score so one ranking is 0.48 the other one is 0.4 so these are the most relevant and these chunks provide a detailed description of who Fahad Mirza is directly answer, answering our question based on the content of the document and this is the beauty of it it's quite fast now if you think about it if you have some string, streaming information coming in where you want to do some ragging you can simply use this library to stream that data into your pipeline and you will decouple both um, the pre-processing and the embedding part of the pipeline now in this next example i'm going to show you how you can do the image retrieval or the information retrieval with images because as i said it is a multi-modal tool which you can use with a lot of modalities so what I have done, I have this directory where I have put in three different images. And so this is one image, the second image, so two images are of a man. And then the third image is this. And, um, most of these images are AI generated by the way. And I'm going to provide these images to the model. Then the query will be photo of a man. And the model, in this case, uh, I'm using Google's Siglip model, which is quite a performant and quite a i would say mature model for image text retrieval and it also acts as a vision encoder for vlms and it uses siglip which is google's model to understand the relationship between images and their text descriptions and it's an advanced version of the clip model which is designed to be more effective at finding images okay so let me take you back and then let me run this you already have seen the image it is downloading the model which is a very lightweight model and most of these embedding models are the small ones there you go and it is now doing it and it says this is the most similar and the score is very high and it has gone through all these three images which i showed you earlier so you can see that the results are very impressive and I will drop the link to this embed anything in video description. Again, please follow me on X. Uh, if you're looking for AI updates without hype and fluff, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.